Jessica Pedway, a popular beauty influencer and YouTube personality, lost her battle with stage 3 cervical cancer. The 36-year-old wife and mother of two died on March 11 and her sister, Rini Brown, shared the news on social media. It's my birthday today, and the only thing I could ever wish for is for God to bring you back on this earth. Brown wrote under an image of herself and Jessica. I lost my beautiful big sister two days ago, and my heart has never felt pain like this. She continued, praising her sister saying she was the most amazing, strong, confident woman she had ever met and filled her life with so much wisdom, prayed for me, and helped me become a better mother. She concluded, life will never be the same without her crazy laugh, pranks, or jokes. Loosing sick, a sibling feels like a connection between us was destroyed. I love you with all my heart. The news about Petway's cancer diagnosis wasn't a shock to her avid followers. In July, the YouTuber shared it with her social media followers in a lengthy narration. Her doctors initially diagnosed her with fibroids in 2022 after ongoing bouts of intense vaginal bleeding, including an episode where she was found unresponsive in her bathroom after bleeding out. She wasn't accurately diagnosed with cancer until February 2023. Being told I have cancer didn't devastate me, she said, in an Instagram post at the time. It was the reaction of those close to me. I knew that God is my healer and that no weapon formed against me, not even cancer, would prosper. I knew that I am more than a conqueror and that I will get through this. Pedway leaves behind her husband of 12 years in addition to her daughters, Kaylee, 10, and Zoe Lee, 3. In August 2023, the YouTuber shared how difficult it was to go through her illness and the toll it took on her family via Instagram. Gotta say, this was the toughest storm I have ever been through, she wrote in the caption. Yeah, we made a commitment that we would get through this together. My husband would carry me up the stairs, carry me to the bathroom, lift me out the tub. It was hard for him to see me in that state. And I was so embarrassed to have him see me in my new body. The weight loss just made me feel like a shell of myself. I didn't want to be seen. But we held on to our vows and the word. We moved forward and did our best not to allow current circumstances to overtake us. It saddens us to hear of Petway's passing and angers us to know of the inaccurate diagnosis that kept her from getting the treatment she needed sooner. We sent her family love and healing during this difficult time. While some influencers opt to never share their romantic partner's identity online, Jessica often spoke about her husband, Michael, and their love story. Unlike his wife, Michael is a private person with not much of a social media presence. However, through Jessica's platform, fans discovered how the couple's love story began. In a 2017 YouTube Q and video, Jessica shared that she and Michael started dating in 2005 when they were both teenagers. They hit it off after Michael asked Jessica's manager to connect them. From there, the couple dated six years before tying the knot on April 8, 2011, when Jessica was 23. Jessica shared on her channel and on social media how she and Michael dealt with naysayers who felt the couple was too young to get married. However, the couple chose not to listen to their haters, which the content creator said was a significant part of their relationship's success. Young love doesn't last, so don't beat your hopes up. Someone literally told me this about our relationship, Jessica recalled in a January 2022 Instagram post. Yet here we are, 16 years after that statement was made. Thankfully, we chose to listen to those who encouraged our love versus those who could only see their own failed relationships. Nothing worth having is easy, but nothing too easy is worth having. Excited to see what God does for us in the next 16 years. During their romance, Jessica and Michael welcomed two daughters, Kai Lee and Zoe Lee. Kai, Jessica's eldest, was born in 2013, and Zoe joined the family in 2020. Jessica's kids frequently used her social media accounts and had their own Instagram accounts run by influencers. On Instagram, she shared how having her daughters and husband made her stop yearning for fame as much and allowed her to focus During on what she romance, felt was more important. Jessica and Michael welcomed two daughters, 
Kai Lee, and Zoe Lee. Kai, Jessica's eldest, was born in 2013, and Zoe joined the family in 2020. Jessica's kids frequently used her social media accounts and had their own Instagram accounts run by influencers. On Instagram, she shared how having her daughters and husband made her stop yearning for fame as much and allowed her to focus on what she felt was more important. Living a simple life is such a blessing, Jessica said in 2021. The older I get, the more simplistic I desire my life to be. I don't want a lot of things. I don't desire to be known. I don't care about accolades. Just give me Jesus and these beautiful humans I'm pictured with, and I'm satisfied. Putting smiles on their faces. Moments we get to create. Memories we get to establish. When you're not chasing a dream, you can live in the beauty of your reality. In addition to opting to slow down after the birth of her second baby girl, Jessica shared that she was open to having more children before she died. While cozying up with Zoe, she captioned the photo slideshow, This little face makes me want to make more little faces. Jessica's husband and daughters are mourning her amid the rest of the world discovering she passed away from stage 3 cervical cancer. According to E! News, Jessica died on March 13, 2024. Her sister, Rainy Brown, announced the news on Instagram, telling her followers, I lost my beautiful big sister two days ago, and my heart has never felt pain like this. Jessica had been transparent about her cervical cancer diagnosis on her Instagram account. In July 2023, she was initially misdiagnosed as having fibroids. Before getting the misdiagnosis, Jessica said she was having intense vaginal bleeding. She experienced so much that her husband found me in the bathroom unresponsive and not breathing, and that she had literally passed away. She was then rushed to the hospital where her doctor told her she had fibroids and that her symptoms were typical. After another hospitalization stay and 10 blood transfusions, Jessica had a biopsy, which confirmed she had cervical cancer. Many of Jessica's followers urged her husband, Michael, to take legal action against her doctors. It's unclear if Jessica or Michael ever sued her doctor, but she continued discussing the matter until she died and remained in good spirits. In August 2023, Jessica shared the illness had affected her husband and kids just as much as it did her, sharing how her and her husband's vows were tested and her children were afraid for their mom. Anytime you're dealing with an illness, it not only affects you, but it also changes the lives of those closest to you, Jessica said. This year rocked our world. From the countless hospital stays to the financial strain, we've been through it all. The girls are too young to understand, yet they notice the changes. Despite the challenging moments, Jessica remained in good spirits throughout her battle. In her July 2023 post, she was hopeful she would beat the illness and said she knew God had the final say. Being told I have cancer didn't devastate me, she said. It was the reaction of those close to me. I knew that God was my healer and that no weapon formed against me, not even cancer, would prosper. I knew that I am more than a conqueror and that I will get through this. We're praying Jessica's family's healing during this time. Rest in peace, beautiful one.